All right, 10 feet up. Come over. No, don't. <laughs> Well, if you wonder how safety mats are made and tested, today is the day. One, two, oh my god, three. Make it a little thicker on the top, and make it a little thicker on the bottom rib. Look, it's like a trunk. <laughs> so we're going to yeah, be testing three and a half meter drop. In case if that's the highest, then I can put, I can put pit pillow. So what we're doing is we're building the mats here, and we're testing different thicknesses of the resi pit in order to make sure that it's safe. If our thinnest design is adequate, and then build it thicker and thicker and see which one we're gonna do to both save money and be perfectly safe. So we're gonna start with this little dude, make it a little thicker on the top, and make it a little thicker on the bottom rib, and then have the full thickness and see what thickness we need to be safe. I don't know, should we like have a ballistic gel mannequin or whatever? It will be in the cover case, right? Yep. Do you want to fold without cover case? The cover design that I went with this time has a lot more oh, ventilation. The, the cover's not going to affect it as much as with the, with the 30 centimeter So you mats. are official pad designer. Pad designer, I guess you could say, yeah. <laughs> That's good for now. Okay. The initial test. Oh, that's so bouncy and nice. All right. So this is three and a half meters, the top altitude. That <laughs> the highest it. someone might fall from. Yes. Just do a safe fall and then see how it feels and then do okay. a little, then so a little less fall. Fall, safe. Oh no. Yeah, do it more of a dangerous fall, like straight on your back or something. Okay. This is for some of your fans. Put some, some sexy music. The thing is about safety, you will never have 100% safe. People have a talent to hurt themselves in any type <laughs> of environment. Falling. If you take safety equipment, usually it's been tested way more, like 30% mm -hmm. more. Yep, so do you want to go from a higher height? Yeah, I think it would be... All right, that's, that's your body. All right, 4.15 meters. <laughs> Look, it's like a trampoline. <laughs> yeah, it's fine. You're not going to be falling from that high anyway. But you might weigh more, which is similar. Yeah. The this is the original design. It's the lengthwise going mm -hmm. in this direction, which gives it more height and more space in between. What that's supposed to do is give it more give. It takes longer to slow down. Mm -hmm. However, I want to try it turning these that way so that there's less space in between. It'll slow you down faster and it won't absorb as much. So it might not let you bottom out. Um, and it also would be thinner, which yeah, would be yeah. better for shipping. Yeah. <laughs> <So>. <laughs> but you will ship it like uh, in the un unpacked or packed already. I'll, we'll be giving a couple different options where we have it unpacked and you have to glue it, do, glue it together and put it together yourself. Yeah, because you're not shipping the air. Well, yeah, exactly. Well, that will, that will <laughs> allow you to vacuum seal it and compress them all. Mm -hmm. But some people don't want to put the, the time and energy into it and they might actually make it incorrectly. We could also ship it as a whole mat already put together, already glued together and no vacuum sealing. Yeah, so okay. it'll cost a lot more. We could guarantee it more if we have the manufacturer do the gluing rather than having the, the customer do the gluing him or herself. All right, we're putting a 10 centimeter thicker top layer. <laughs> That's what glue is for. <laughs> if we go with this design, it's gonna be these two are gonna be glued together, or it's just gonna be one piece. Oh, okay. So this is simulating it better than if the thinner piece was on top. Oh, okay. Uh, one thing that uh, I can't tell is the the kind of urethane that this is, because mm -hmm. there's tons and tons of different kinds of foams, and this is uh, proprietary of our manufacturer. Gets back to the same shape really well, and it's it won't tear. Can I try to tear it? <laughs> no. Okay. You, you, you could tear if you try, but if you're if there's a mat cover on there and there's something like a finger or something goes in directly into there, it's not going to tear. Is it right memory one. foam? Does it have memory of falling no, people? It's, <laughs> <laughs> the memory of falling people. Oh, we out of measuring tape. Oh, measure to where you can and add 5.3 meters. Whee. That was good. That's actually very nice. Yeah. You can jump and foam pit like with your limbs like all over the place and still get hurt. Yeah. This is pretty dope. I'm just wondering how high we can go. <laughs> you okay? <laughs> Number one rule of testing is don't worry about the camera. So 6.15 meters. Whee. Whee. No, it's fine. It's who? <laughs> <laughs> Remember when we were doing this before with the other map? Did you have video of that? Back me. I don't think that I have a video of it. Yeah, and so it's just like flip like this. You can see you can here. Do a whiplash. So when you land, 
Did you see? Yeah. So it's just like pike me. That's why we looking for new paths. You want to go up to the top? From the top? That was, that's been your dream all along, right? Jeez. I think I need practice more. So this is where he jumped from last time. <laughs> we jumping from way up there. <laughs> that was nothing, wasn't it? Uh, yeah, actually. It's, it's just scary. I don't know. It feels nice. Seven meters. Okay. That's so lucky number seven in America, but if we were in China, then that would be eight. Okay, let's do eight. No, it's not. Okay, falling. Wow, on the video it doesn't look like nothing. No, now my heels start feeling it. The heels did? Yeah. Look, oh, cause you're right in the middle. Shimmer yeah. Ah, yeah. Yeah. 7.65 meters. Safe. Yeah, with the control fall you'll be fine. I'm not gonna say bad thing, but there are some talents over there that can hurt themselves standing on the pad. You know, without <laughs> even jumping. I've been a trampoline and gymnastics coach. We saw things that shouldn't have happened. Yeah. So I mean this is 10 meter mark. Okay, you ready? Okay. You ready? <laughs> um, if you're if you're ready. Yeah. One, two, oh my god, three. Oh. You no, know, I don't wanna go that high. You're not gonna die, but I don't wanna do that. <laughs> Let me just climb down. <laughs> no. Okay. okay, so ignore the ugliness of the cover. It's not glued together, so it looks all disheveled. And the cover is made for another like 10 centimeters thicker of a mat. Yeah, yeah. Uh, we'll get a new cover for the final product. So answer on the question. Will this pad save you from 10 meter fall? I think it will. I wouldn't recommend to do that. But if you're talented, <laughs> you can find a way. I wouldn't say that the 10 meters will damage you, but you might feel it though. How are you finishing this video? Uh, finishing? Yeah. With an epic belly flop. Ready? Yep. You ready? Epic. Yeah. Batting. 10 feet, 20 feet, 24, 25. You're gonna drop from 25 feet? <laughs> Traverse Fitness has amazing padding. 